Bill, maybe not the result you wanted this afternoon, but is there some takeaways uh, you can get from this game? I mean, uh, you know, it wasn't the game that we wanted, obviously. No one, no one wants to lose. And, um, you know, I think you can t we, we were resilient all the way to the end. You know, we were playing pretty hard. So I think it just comes down to, you know, just doing the little details and following Belzy's structure. And, um, you know, we'll be better for Monday for sure. Uh, the opening goal, you made a really nice pass to Mitchell Martin there to, to get the game going. Uh, what did you see on, on that pass and that effort you were able to make? Yeah, you know, honestly, I was just trying to take it to the net. Um, I think a lot of the goals are scored now right at the net. So, you know, I just tried to make a hockey play and Marty was in a good spot. And uh, fortunate enough, he, he put the puck in the net. Have you been able to build some, some chemistry with him through these two games? Yeah, you know, he's a really good player. He's a fast player, a big boy. So, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's fun to play with. And, um, you know, we're starting to click. It, it, it's, it's tough to click right away, right? You know, a lot of the young guys and, and they're rookies. So, um, yeah, but it's coming along really well and excited to play with him on Monday, too. Everybody talks about the importance of the prospects challenge for you. It's, I guess it's even more so with, with you missing most of the season with the shoulder injury last year. How, how's that feeling, first of all? And, um, to get into these competitive games, what does that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, shoulder feels really good. You know, it's been a long time, a uh, long time coming, and, um, you know, getting hit and uh, giving hits, it feels really good. And um, honestly, just, you know, playing a game is just making me really happy just talking about it. And, you know, I'm glad to be back and, um, you know, just, just playing the game again. But, uh, you know, th these kinds of games are always competitive. You know, everyone's trying to make a name for themselves. And, and uh, I'm, same thing with me, I'm trying to just prove myself that I'm good to go. And, and uh, be ready for main camp. I believe you had seven points in nine games before the injury last year. What were you seeing uh, from from your development uh, in your first full season in the American Hockey League and where you could really go with, with the game, your offensive game specifically? Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, Belzy and, and uh, Sexy when he, was, when he was down in Belleville, you know, they helped me a lot just, you know, read and react the game. And, and uh, you know, we watched a lot of video and just teaching clips. So, you know, uh, you know, I was just trying to develop as much as I can and, and you know, staying late for practices and doing little things. But uh, I think a lot of it is just instincts. And, you know, I got good players around me down there in Belleville. So um, it helped a lot. But, uh, you know, hopefully I can bring that, bring that uh, point stuff <laughs> in yeah. Belleville this year. No, I think you. I think you would be safe to describe you as a natural playmaker. Your vision on the ice is extraordinary. Um, how do you kind of work on that throughout the off season and um, getting that timing down? And, and tonight, like we mentioned, you make that nice pass to Mitch Martin. How do you kind of work on that and build that, build on that? Yeah, you know, I think uh, it's just by growing up. You know, I've always been a pass first kind of guy, so I feel like I'm always looking around the ice and, and trying to find lanes and. And, you know, I think, you know, on the power play with Robbie Gerventi on the other side with his shot, it's hard not to look that way. So, um, you know, I, I just try to find lanes and, and, and try to get other guys to score goals. But I think a, a big part of my development coming this year is just, just to, you know, learn how to shoot the puck and put the puck on net. So, um, you know, that's just something I got to learn. But passing is uh, always my first option. You're no uh, stranger to the process now of development to get, you know, from juniors to the AHL to Ottawa eventually. Um, what has this process been like for you so far in terms of this uh, prospect camp? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of hard work. You know, the rookie camp is a grind. You know, it's no days off, you know, long, long bus trip in and, and you know, uh, long practices. But I think uh, you just got to enjoy it. And, and you know, it's so much development. You know, coaches are trying to, trying to help you in every little way. And, I think uh, you know that's what Belzy's really good at is just talking to the players and and uh, trying to make them better every day. So, and what were his, uh, did you have any kind of messaging for the, the guys that maybe are new to this whole uh, development process? What what did you have um, for them? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, my first year in rookie camp, I, I, it was hard to enjoy the moment. I put too much pressure on myself, so you know, so you know, I try to tell them to just enjoy the moment. It's uh, it's pretty rare that you get to put an NHL jersey on your chest and. And, uh, and, you know, play a game. So I think I just try to tell them to just have fun and, and, and play their game, not put too much pressure on themselves. And, and yeah, just enjoy it. And have you kind of had that opportunity to kind of take a step back and, and enjoy the process? Yeah, I mean, especially, you know, this year, you know, um, after last year, rookie tournament, you know, I started learning to just step back and, and look at how much fun it is and how much people are helping, you know. Uh, when you look at Maddie and Mikey, guys uh, in the tr in the training room, you know they're always helping, and and that's just stuff that you don't get to experience often. And, and sometimes in juniors, you don't get as much help. There's not as much staff, so I think uh, it's just realizing that you have so much, so many people here to help you, and and just to enjoy it for sure.
And as we look forward to the upcoming season, what are you kind of most excited about for this 2023-24? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's been a long time coming, so I'm just excited to, to you know, play with all those guys again. I really enjoyed it, those nine games I played last year. You know, I thought we were clicking. I thought we had a good team. And I think this year coming in, I think we have an even better team. So I think I'm really excited for this year. And, and honestly, I think uh, make a playoff push, hopefully, and, and go deep in the playoffs. So, and uh, hopefully I can try to make an impact and help the team. Ryan, an exciting week for the Ottawa Senators organization here at the Prospects Challenge in Buffalo. What does this week kind of give you in terms of looking at these prospects in kind of a team format instead mm -hmm. of just in an individual sense, so to speak? Well, it's great. It's very important. Uh, obviously, it's a way to, to kick off the season and, you know, from our perspective, kind of turn our brains on as well and uh, get a good view and a good jump on, on things. And really, from evaluation, uh, you know, point of view, it's... Uh, you gotta, you gotta take it with a bit of a grain of salt. These kids are coming off uh, you know, a, a summer of training and this is their first game action. So really a way to, to shake the rust off, but I think for them it's, uh, it's a good way to get a good jump on training camp as well and uh, you know, turn some heads and, and see who can, uh, can, can show us a few things and, and get ready for the season. I feel that a guy that missed most of last season with a shoulder injury. For a guy like him specifically, how important is it to, for him to get these game actions right away and not just kind of jump into it in AHL or NHL preseason? Well, it's huge. I mean, like you say, essentially he missed a full season last year. So um, just for him to, to gain his timing back, gain his confidence back with the puck, um, get him into some game situations uh, to get ready for, for Ottawa's training camp is huge. Um, you know, I think, you know, Phil, Phil uh, like you say, he lost a full year and this is going to be a big, uh, a big step for him. So to have this week uh, to gain some confidence is going to be big for him. Uh, from a Belleville side, uh, David Bell gets to run a bench. He gets to work with his two new assistants. How much is that kind of a key for him to, to figure it out in, in this setting before he jumps into the regular season? Well, it's no different from the players, for sure. Uh, like you said, he's got a, a brand new staff that uh, they've got to get used to each other and accustomed to each other. So, um, you know, I think they're they're learning about each other as well. You know, there's there's different game situations and meetings and prep and, and things that they can kind of lean on with each other and and learn how how each other ticks and uh, how to handle certain situations. So we're we're, we're, we're in daily communication about that, and um, like you said, it's a good jump start for the season for those guys as well. Um, for your executive staff, you were able to bring in some undrafted free agent invites. Taryn Pfizer, a guy that's impressed through the first two games. What kind of goes into that um, throughout the season? making this roster as mm -hmm. I guess it's, it's kind of a thing that's always evolving for your staff. Yeah and obviously this year uh, you know a byproduct of having fewer draft picks over the last couple of years it, uh, it puts a little bit more pressure on the scouts uh, and the amateur side to identify some guys that uh, that can come in and you know obviously it maybe slipped through the cracks in the draft and uh, but we're still you know we had some interest in um, so again you look at the amount of ATOs we have on our on our roster it's a, it's a great opportunity for these guys and like you say a guy like Pfizer you know played a year in, in the East Coast League last year and um, you know he's really he turned some heads here in the early going with, the, with his first two games. So he's a prime example of uh, the importance of those guys. How nice is it too? We, we talk about the scouting staff; they're all here in Buffalo to get those meetings and, and see each other in person. And I guess the the excitement there as well with, with guys trying to, to tell about guys they like. Throughout. Oh, for sure. It's like you say, like I said before, it's a kickstart to the season for us as well. Um, it's a chance for us to turn our brains on um, and, and get back into hockey mode. And uh, like I said, we, from an amateur staff standpoint, we'll be meeting all this week and going over scheduling and um, getting everything ready for the season so that they can get a head start on their on their season as well and our player development group as well you know it's very rare for for them all to be together um, as a group so we'll, we'll sit down with them and go through their plans for the season and get everything ready uh, so like I said it's uh, it's a great way to kick start, start the season because once training camp uh, comes next week uh, we're off and running so this is a good way to, to get going for that a kind of a more broader scope um, how important is the American League to develop these players to go on to be future NHLers? Well, it's huge. Um, I think now, especially where we are as a franchise, where, let's be honest, we're becoming a cap team. So uh, development is going to become a lot more paramount and important to the success of the Ottawa Senators. Um, it's one of the things I've tried to bring over here is the importance of, of the American League and, and trying to develop some of our prospects and our draft picks. Um, so again, we see this as a, as a big opportunity uh, to start the season for that, from, from that aspect. And it's, it's going to be a big season in Belleville as well. Um, I always say, you know, there's a, there's a fine line between winning and development but for me winning is part of development you want to put your prospects in a good environment where they are have a chance to succeed and, and that's going to be our plan here moving forward and as the two teams like this uh, prospect challenge it really is kind of a unification of the two teams mm -hmm. um, how important is it to have these two teams so close together 
Uh, again, it's huge. Uh, like you said, the synergy that we want uh, between Belleville and Ottawa uh, moving forward here, this is where it all begins. This is where you know uh, guys start to meet each other and be around each other and, and gain that chemistry that we hope will, will transfer over into training camp and the exhibition games and then the regular season uh, from both standpoints. So uh, like you say, it's a, it's a huge kickstart for the season for that. And um, looking ahead to the 2023-24 season for Belleville, mm -hmm. what are you excited about for the, the most out of that? I'm, I'm very excited. I think uh, you know the additions that we've been able to made make, uh, excuse me, from a veteran standpoint in Belleville are, are going to be uh, are going to be huge. Um, expectations are going to be higher throughout the organization. Obviously, starting in Ottawa, but in Belleville as well. Um, I think it's no secret we've got new ownership coming in. We've got uh, you know just different expectations from from all around. So I think uh, you know, like I said, the cohesion and the synergy between the two clubs is, is going to be great, and we expect to win as well.